Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? Literally going to do <laughs> the world's shortest stream, but basically I said I was going to do a quick beat breakdown um, the day that the Selena Braz song come out, came out, and it did. It came out. It's called Between Us. And I'm leaving to go to a... Um, I'm leaving to go to a wedding in like 30 minutes. So, and I'm going to be there all weekend. So I was like, this is like the only chance I have. So that's why I was like, all right, let me just get on it. Let me just squeeze it in. Cause I, I didn't want to wait till like Tuesday. Cause that's like when I'll be free again. Um, so yeah, let me pull this up here. Okay, second. All right. So if you haven't heard the song, here it is. It might get DCMA or whatever, but the whole EP, the whole EP is awesome. Um, Spencer Stewart is like the main guy that does everything. He like finished his stuff or, well, not even just finishes. He just always like kind of EPs everything that she's put out. And he produced this one. And this is like one of my favorite beats Alina's ever been on. So check that out. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're just gonna do a quick breakdown of this. So it starts with the first Easter egg. The Easter egg is right at the beginning. So when I sent this to Spencer, he made it uh, like speed up. But it, uh, when we f first threw it in here, uh, it was just straight. But I like that he made it speed up. That's really cool. So it's it's a little bit harder to figure out but if I solo it and you've been listening to me for a minute on SoundCloud you might recognize it from this song that came out four years ago my vaporwave EP So I put out this Vaporwave EP for free on SoundCloud. It's on my alt SoundCloud, which is low file backwards. Um, and yeah, uh, made it with the homie Marco Bernardis. He's the guy that's in Radiant Children with me. Uh, so yeah, peep this if you like Vaporwave. I think it's only three songs. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I sent this to Alina one night after we had done a session. And the next day she's like, I really like this first one. We should, like, mess with it. So we ended up sampling it. <clears throat> and then basing the chords kind of throughout the song off of it. They're not exactly the same, but there's some similarities, and, like, the lead are, is very similar. That was added by Spencer. Because the, it's the melody of the chorus. So here's the second... Uh, Here's the second Easter egg, which you would only know if you've been watching my streams for a while, specifically. So that's a song that I wrote with Tale Riley years, five years ago or something in London that never came out or went anywhere. And I put that acapella over some beats on, on stream. So somebody actually recognized that one. Uh, but yeah, we ended up sampling that too. <laughs> so this whole thing, this whole song starts with two samples of things that I made in the past. So it's always good to like, I don't know, think of stuff that maybe an artist you're working with would fuck with that you've been involved in that maybe didn't go anywhere or didn't come out or whatever. Because um, you can use it. And, you know, obviously do clear it and stuff. So, yeah, it starts with these two old ideas, plus the melody from the chorus. Okay, so... Let's see. The first sound here, pretty sure... Um, 
So I guess before we do that, let's show you like in the chorus. So it's this nylon guitar. It sucks because I because like when it gets to this stage, we print a lot of stuff, so we can't see it. But I can I can tell you what it is. So it's got like um, some auto wah or auto filter on it, doing the wah and some some chorus. It's probably brigade chorus and an auto wah. And that was where we started with this beat. Um, I think that was the first thing Spencer played. Um, and then we also had the drums. Yeah, so I, I think I maybe came up with the first pattern. So this was vibing, you know? Th threw in this P bass, which Spencer always brings to sessions. And he's sick at bass, sick at guitar. It's hilarious. He's good at everything. So, so that this was like the this was like the OG groove, I guess. And I love these chords right here. And I think I took this and I put so I did like the no bus thing. And if you've seen me break down no bus. It's an acoustic guitar that I put through um, Little Altar Boy. And I pitched it down an octave and maybe distorted it. So that's how we got this initial. And that's like the first sound in the first verse. And I think when I did that, Spencer was like, yeah, that sounds like low file. Oh, hey, I forgot to shout out Christian. Thank you for the sub, Christian. That's the boy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I remember Spencer being stoked on that. So I was like, when we did that and then had the, the groove, it was like, okay, now we're cooking with gas. And like the song was getting going, you know. So that is hard to get a song going in the room when you're starting from scratch. You never know. But this one just, after we did this, it kind of took off. Because then we had super simple, just the bass groove and the, and the drums. And I love... Uh, I love uh what's it called um what's it called uh what's the Ilmine? oh blap blap kits so they have these grunts I don't know where where it is I don't I don't know where is that am I blind oh it's right here so that's like a blap kit and uh, just you know just uh, uh, random like ear candy, I guess. Yeah. And then this is this is again from the from the uh, from this sample, a different part of this song. So just just put it here with some delay on it. I really like to like. Uh, how do you say? I really like to um design my delays so they're not just like whatever they like have some modulation to them. So I'm pretty sure I automated like some stuff like the reverb wet or something as the tail went up. And then we get to this pre. And these synths were added by Spencer. These are you can see the X. Uh, the OBXA or whatever. Uh, I guess that's from Analog Lab. And then he put it through like either cassette or reels or both. He liked it. He like uh, layered both of these. So that's pretty cool. With the classic Rees. Really simple. This beat is super simple, to be honest. There's not a whole lot going on, but when you have effective... Uh, Effective sounds, you don't want a lot. And then I think that da -da 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 is a bunch of shit, so. Oh, that's just the chord. Oh, wait, didn't somebody say I was expecting the Mariposa lead? It it's in here. I didn't even know that. I guess I did put it in here. 
I can never make a beat without it. It's like my favorite patch of all time. That or Soda Beach. So I like followed his his. Um Yeah, so let's see. Where's that like da -da -da -da. Oh, it's this guy. I think that's something that Spencer put in. I'm not sure what it is, because it's not labeled. It's probably from Analog Lab because he loves Analog Lab. What is this? Oh. The Mariposa patch is TUC Funk Smacks in Diva. It's a lead that I use so much. Actually, let's just pull it up. Um, what time is it? Okay. I need to leave and go to Joshua Tree. So I'm like a little bit stressed. But I wanted to get this done before I bounced. And then the VOD can be up. Um, so this is the Mariposa lead. Every single beat I've ever made on stream. I bring this out to jam. Sometimes it stays in. More often than not, it doesn't. But it's just a great patch for like trying out melodies and shit. Um, and I guess it made it into this beat. But this was a tough one to like finish because I kept having, I kept putting a bunch of shit in it and then muting it because it was too much. So it's like just putting enough where it felt good. Um, but uh, not too much. So just like little tiny things. And then the motif of the song, which is that old song. There wasn't even a second verse when I was finishing this production. So, because I sent it to, to Spencer and he finished it in Seattle. And then for uh, for um, pre two, I decided to do this little like tape stop thing, or a tape start, I should say. Then I got this fake ass guitar right here. In the mix, it sounds real, but. It's this uh, jazz, Evolution Jazz Arch Top. Um, ran through a bunch of UAD stuff, like the flanger and the brigade chorus. And then what is this? Oh, an auto filter. So basically, it sounds like this. Just by itself, it's kind of fake. Sounding. But I guess in the mix, it's it's passable. You barely notice it. And then this little simple fill, whatever, for the last chorus. Super simple shit here. What is all this? I'll just... I thought I heard like a little um oh SoundCloud chords what is this oh okay cool this is another little patch I made yeah the super simple patch I think that's serum I don't know where the little thing is it's hard to find this type of shit Oh, it must be this. Yeah, that was... Uh, but Gone Patch is, is sick, bro. I actually pull up a beat that I made with it the other day. So that that's something Spencer did right there. And I think when they finished it and like did the mix, they added a lot more low end to the drums. Like the snare and stuff is a way more thick. So 
so super simple shit, man. It, it's funny because this, you know, doesn't have a ton of tracks. You know, like 40 or whatever is like low for me. Uh, but it's, you know, an effective beat. But the only reason it it's so simple is because I literally added the whole fucking world, the book, the kitchen sink, everything, and then had to take it all out because nothing was working right. It was actually really difficult to finish because the initial idea was sick. We all love the uh, initial idea so much, like making the chorus hit and stuff, like adding all the right stuff but not the wrong stuff was insanely difficult. So, yeah, that's the super quick breakdown of it. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to play you. That's right. Let's let's play. I want to play a beat I made out of Buck's patch. I made a patch. Oh, right, beat battle. Okay, we'll get to that too. We got it. I got to wrap up quick though. What time is it? Eighteen. All right, I got to wrap in the, up in the next ten minutes because we got to leave. Um, but I'll do this really quick. I'm gonna show the beat I made with Buck's patch. So Buck has a keyboard and he was messing with it through um, a Discord call. And I sampled it um, through the call. And it sounds really sick. <laughs> so this is his patch here. I just put it in a sampler. Actually, we're not going to do the beat battle yet because I just realized that I, I want to fix it. Because it's not all the way ready yet. So Tuesday, we'll do the beat battle. I think that's actually pitched down. So here comes like... That's what it sounds like. Up. song is Buck's patch, a patch that made sampling his keyboard through a Discord call. It actually makes a lot of really cool, what do you call, um, artifacts. There's another one. That was Buck Pluck. I have one called Buck Bells, too. Um, why do I have so much crazy? Oh, Ozone. I was like, why do I have so much delay? Buck plug. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. I better get out of here. I need to drive to Joshua Tree. But I said I was going to stream th the day that it came out. So um, I'm, I, 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 I held to my, to my promise. But really quick, if you know anything about me, you know that one of my favorite producers ever is this guy, Billboard, who actually goes by Mount Duamel now. He came over the other day. And we made some stuff, but I just wanted to play you a little bit of this one we started. I don't know what it is yet, but I just love it. Because it's like the weirdest thing ever. And then I'm going to get out of here. Soda Beach. 
between us and the whole EP. And I'll see you guys Tuesday probably.